welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe, I would love to see you again next time. So today I'll be working on a sketch for my Inktober collection 2020. Um, for those of you who don't know, Inktober is basically a challenge set up that every day of October you make a drawing or a sketch based on a theme with either ink or pens or anything ink related. It's pretty cool and its whole idea of this challenge is to strengthen your ability and skills in the art of ink. So originally I started to do my Inktober with the idea of doing a sketch every single day for the month of, Inkto for the month of October um, based on the themes that they have put out. But I quickly remembered that I have a very busy schedule as I'm a student and I'm currently studying to become a veterinarian. Basically this means that seeing that next year is my final year, I've already started my clinics and sometimes I have to get up before sunrise and be back after sunset. So I don't always have time on every single day to do the drawings. So basically my new idea is I still want to finish the Inktober challenge. I'm just going to stretch it out and obviously it's going to be delayed a lot compared to everybody else who's been drawing every day. I'm going to do it however it's going to take a lot longer and I'm not obviously not going to draw every day based on my full schedule. Anyways back to the drawing. Um, so basically based on my channel and how you guys know me everybody knows I'm a big fan of anime so the theme for day four, obviously it's been done a bit lo uh, longer down the line than October the 4th, but anyways, um, the theme was radio. So basically my idea with this was to incorporate anime into the drawing. So I took a girl, an anime girl, and um, with a very like hip vibe and I added a picture of radio on the bottom. So for this ink drawing and well all my other ink drawings I'm using Minson Newton inks. Um, for the specific one though I'm using the non-waterproof Windsor and Newton liquid Indian ink. Um, they get you get the waterproof one and the non-waterproof one. I think the non-waterproof one is like a newer version. So basically after you've drawn with it and you add water over it, it becomes water soluble again. So you can basically reactivate it, which is not very ideal as I have learned very quickly with this Inktober challenge that the waterproof one is a lot better to work with in my personal opinion. I have also used a combination of um, using a nib for the finer details and all the lines of the picture and then using a brush for the lighter colors and to add some of the shade. With the brush I dilute some of the ink on a mixing palette and then dilute it with water and then just use that almost in a watercolor basis to add the shadows in. I love the way this radio has like wings. I added that detail and I thought it gave it a very rocky vibe, um, maybe a bit of metal in there because my favorite music is obviously rock and metal, that's why I would incorporate it into my drawing. Oh, and as you guys can notice, the paper I'm drawing on is in my Inktober sketchbook that I bought specifically for this challenge. It is grey pages. I thought it would add a very nice touch to my ink drawings, especially if I'm going to draw in only black. Um, I also used a bit of bleeding, um, ink bleeding on the sides to create a frame around my drawing. I just thought it added a bit of an edge and um, gave it a finished down look. So that concludes our drawing for today, um, let me know what you thought of this idea in the comments, if you liked it or not, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Happy Inktober and good luck!